Hi, this is William from PCTestCars.com and PCTestCars.co.uk. This time, I have prepared a complete set of uh, latest nice gadgets. Um, this is the complete desktop computer and laptop motherboard diagnostic kit, which tests both desktop computers and laptop notebooks. Uh, also tests both uh, earlier PC laptops and the new latest PC laptops. Okay, so this is um, pretty much the combo set, the most capable one. All right, let me to start with. Let me introduce the components one by one first. This is the master unit. Um, as we can see. This master diagnostic card comes with uh, let's start from the top first uh, PCI standard PCI connectors, okay. Uh, also comes with newer PCIe connectors. Both of these are for desktop computers, okay. This is the latest design PCIe Express. All right, on the left here, this is the connectors to connecting the cables. Okay, and the other end of the cable will connect it to to the other three cards over here. Depends on what we want to test. These two will be used for test the desktop computers, and this one will be used for test the laptops uh, using the laptop new laptop Wi-Fi mini PCIe connectors. All right, now get back to the master universe. Um, the top six digits here are the factory factory Qiquan codes. Okay. The top four digits are the factory chip one codes. The lower two digits are the BIOS codes. Okay, we have customers ask me um, if these BIOS codes are traditional BIOS codes or newer UEFI BIOS codes. Actually, all PC diagnostic cards I have support both types of BIOS codes, the traditional BIOS codes and the uh, uh, new UEFI BIOS codes. Okay, so it cover all the BIOS codes on the market, and also it comes with you need two Memphis two engines of diagnosis, BIOS code and the factory codes. This is very important because BIOS codes, BIOS on the computers could have got corrupt, so we may not get the correct BIOS codes all the times. So we can get extra unit factory diagnosis codes for extra reference to make sure our diagnosis are the most accurate. Alright, look at the other side of the diagnostic card here. This is another unit, another unit features. We can see the stable and unstable F2 LED over here. One for unstable and the other one for stable. This will allow us to capture the whole computer multiple working stabilities. We don't need to run the software application to bring and test the computers like taking a couple hours, you know, to get the results anymore. All right. Besides the stability test, let's look at the uh, total six digits codes again okay the six digits code there will be a, also a small dot LEDs indicators look at the lower right corners of each digit each small dot uh, LEDs will show the status of the motherboard basic activities like frame activities IRDY activities uh, power Three volt uh, active, uh, status and the twelve volt twelve V's on the motherboard status over here. Uh, the BIOS code lower right corners, the two digits will re represent the motherboard reset RST reset signals and the clock signals. Mostly for working motherboards, once we press the power button, the reset LED should flash very quickly one or two times. And the crack signal LEDs um, could have, you know, remains on for a little while. Okay, 
and okay next to the six digit codes over here the left size this is also a unique uh, designs uh, for my stores here okay this is the uh, speaker uh, the onboard speaker to test the motherboard big codes as well and the connector here it is for it is for con uh, connecting the it is for connecting the audio cables we can connect it the one side to the master unit and then the other side will goes to the motherboard okay so this card it is unique from and my best uh, carefully select test card it comes with unique uh, digital codes LED codes and also the audio big codes this is the unit to be found on the market okay all three possible codes on a single uh, card all right also look at the two chipsets here this is two small chipsets will control the whole, whole master card and the uh, accessory cards remote unit uh, on the desktop computer and laptop diagnosis uh, it will monitor the whole process we don't need any software to run anymore okay we don't need any software to install to you know to start the computer hardware diagnosis this is the hardware computer diagnostic card it is much better than a software kit because software kit needs the computer you know to be able to show post screen to, to able to load to the computer I mean, I mean the operating systems and this hardware case it is good for testing computer that not even showing any post screen at all okay all right now look at the lower two uh, two connectors here the left side here is for the factory reserve connectors we don't need to care about that okay the lower left uh, connector we don't need to care about that the other end it I think uh, the other one on, on the right side is the newer PCIe connector this is the latest technology technologies you know to test the desktop computer server computers using the PCI experts connectors this is the very first also the hottest uh, PCIe desktop computers cards test cards on the market as well okay but this is this card it's not limited for desktop computers it has laptops as well okay I am at, again I am at creating the best complete and most capable test kits for my friend and my customers because we don't need we don't want to spend time to look for the test test cards you know specifically is we need when we need them okay so we don't have time for that we want to gather the components all the test kits once all in the same package one at a time we just focus on the our diagnostic jobs all right okay so uh this is pretty much done with the master unit okay so this is pci pcie and two method of diagnosis uh, diagnosis uh more effective diagnosis results free types of codes digital LED and uh, audio big codes uh, stability test so this model uh, this multiple diagnostic car pretty much have everything included already the most capable ones okay for both desktop and, and laptops for earlier laptops and newer laptops for newer and also for earlier PCs and latest PCs so this is it will cover near 100% of the computers on this on the market all right and next I'm going to show how to using the different connector how to connect them and then how to use this to test our computers okay and if you have any question let me know and my name is William I'm from pctestcards.com and pctestcards.co.uk let me know if you have any question okay all right let's go for the next time mm. okay next I'm going to show how to connect this device okay first connect it to the master card all right then the other end if we want to test desktop computers I would suggest look for the standard PCI slot first if the if the motherboard does not come with the 
standard PCS slot, we will look for the LPC connector first. Okay, and connecting the other end on LPCs. If the motherboard does not come with standard PCI and also no LPC debug pin ports, we will go for the PCIe, just install on the PCIe, okay? All right, and testing the laptops will be th the same way. Testing the laptops, we just need to connect this to the laptop mini PCI, okay? And swap with the laptop mini PCIe cards. Power on the laptop, we will see the digital code showings on the mass. Okay, right now, let's try the PCIe connections. We have two LPC, uh, PCIe uh, connector here, okay? The LPC, uh, the PCIe are here. And this is the standard PCI. This is the PCIe new latest. Okay, so pick either one. Push the card in. That's it. Then power on the motherboard to look, go through the automatically scan process. Codes will display on the codes will display on the te test card unit over here. Okay. And we can go to the easy guide and menu step by step how to what those codes means, either CPU, volts, RAM, or VGA onboard VGA motherboard. Uh, sorry, onboard v VGA GPUs, uh, video cards, okay, or chipset errors. All right, and this this board it comes with um, the UEFI BIOS, okay, no problem we have set of UE BIOS codes as well, specifically. Okay, so there will be BIOS code, UE FI BIOS codes, uh, factory codes. We have all the codes ready, okay? So they will pin point out to the north or south bridge, uh, graphic processor, CPU, RAM, or any controllers on the motherboards are false. Okay, everything are on this master unit, okay? All right, and Hope this helps. Any question, please let me know. All right, let's go try another PCIe here. That's it. Everyone can do this easily, very easy. Okay, and the, another way, as we said, it, it will, we, we can use the LPC connectors. One for specific brand of motherboards. This one is ASUS, so this is ASUS. So just do this as a summary, a quick, quick summaries. Okay, connect to the LPC pins over here. Okay, and when once again the motherboard that does not come with standard PCI connectors, mostly comes with LPC pins. Okay, the LPC debug port, okay. Okay, over here, ASUS. ASUS connector, we double check. It comes with two, four, six, eight, or nine, yes, right. With one brick, one breaker pins. So make sure we align the one breaker pin on top, top right, okay, and then connect it to the motherboard. LPC pins over here. We should connect it directly, yep. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look. It is correct. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, actually, before we do that, we should we should have connected master unit using the extension cable. Both end of the cable are the same, so it doesn't matter which connectors goes to the con the ma master unit. <clears throat> All right, just connect this cable and then the other one goes to the board here. Goes to the LPC connection.
monitor board. Yep, here we go. So after this, just connect the motherboard to the power and then power on the motherboard. The code will run and we should go through the menu to follow the menu and easy guide to interpret the the code dis descriptions and see what's wrong with the motherboard. Okay. Alright, next I will connect in the PCIe that will be very easy as well. So I'm proud the cable. Pull it up directly. Don't just like move it forward and back. This will bend the pins on the motherboard. Okay, so just push it up upward directly. And PCIe connectors. This is the PCIe connectors. This is the standard PCI. This is PCIe. This one is reserved for the um, diagnostic card factory uses, so we don't need to care about this. Okay, now these two PCIe idle one, we just push the card in. Oh, okay, here we go. 